Hi, this is Andy Nathan from andynathan.net coming to you here to talk to you about Twitter feed. Twitterfeed.com. It's a really cool site. It's helped me a lot over the years in just making sure that I have regular content on all my different Twitter accounts. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this one. Uh, one thing to keep in mind before I go into Twitter feed is that when you're using Twitter feed, it's great to use. And it's really easy. It automates a lot of stuff for you. However, don't just use that for your Twitter account. The accounts that I do have only on Twitter feed and I haven't had a chance to do a lot with, they don't get the same results as the accounts that I manually work on as well. So I just want that to be something that you keep in mind. And this is a great tool, but make sure it's not the only tool that you use. So just a little disclaimer here. That being said, it's an awesome tool. For those of you who want to create an account, it's very simple. You go create an account. Add the feeds that you want, like they do Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, StatusNet, and um, there's one other. Um, but the main three, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, are all on here. Also, you could track your feeds as well. So since I already have an account, I'm just going to sign in. And as I sign in, you could see here I have about 14 feeds active right now. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, instead of going through the main ones, I'm going to go into one I don't use as often. And I'm going to go on the second page here. Where's it? Here we go. ClickBank test feed. So, actually, and I sent out a test before I did this. So, you see this. This is one that happened a little while ago. This is one that I have that I just sent out. Checking beforehand to make sure everyone had everything that they needed before I actually did this video. Here we go. Clickbank test feed. I'm going to use this as the main one. I'll show you a few other features later on. But let's say that I wanted to actually use, I want to edit this. As you can see, I have two Twitter accounts in here right now. I can't see it from here, but if I go to edit, I could actually go in and I could actually see here's the Here's the Twitter feed that you use. If you, a lot of these I use Google Reader for because it's really easy. You can convert a lot of different feeds into Google Reader and then get the Google Reader feed. And then after you get that Google Reader feed, you could then parse it and take it out into a Twitter feed. That's probably an entirely different conversation. I used to use this a lot with Amazon before Amazon banned all Illinois affiliates. It was really nice. You could take a lot of the, the top Amazon RSS feeds put in your affiliate link at the end and then after you did that you could actually put it into a Google Reader and then put the Google Reader into a Twitter feed. However that's not what we're going to talk about today because that's a whole different conversation. However because this is Clickbank it's an affiliate link I'm just giving you the idea but I didn't say to do this. Anyways with that being said Clickbank is really kind of cool. One of the things here is this Clickbank Twitter feed here is I actually took a Google Reader feed with this. And if I need to test the RSS feed, I can test the RSS feed. I click test and see the green button feed parsed okay. That means it works. In addition to that, I could also check the settings. If I want the settings to go, I want it to go every six hours. And it'll post one update every six hours. Another thing is you could use you could shorten your link here. However, what I'm going to say here is actually going to be kind of a little bit different. Bitly's been having some problems here. So, I'm going to, instead of doing, I want to post the link. I'm going to see if we could do this. You might want to take a look to see if you could use something else because Bitly's been having some problems and TinyURL's been having some problems. However, for right now, I'm going to keep it the way it is because these are still getting posted. The other thing is if I want to add something at the end I could add like a post suffix which I add pound add because these are ads because you see law you're supposed to add stuff like that to let people know that you're advertising. So I have that at the end and then the next step is once we're done with that we could go continue to step two. Now right now I have this going to check goodies and tech toys. Now let's say I want or techie toys which is two of my Twitter accounts. Let's say I want to have this go into another account. Now, if I wanted to add a Twitter account, I'd have to authenticate it through the Twitter OA auth. However, since a lot of my accounts are already on here already, 
I'm just going to add a new account here. I'm going to add killer blog posts as you get this as well. And I go create service, and there you go. And I can keep adding available services. Hello Text was the service that I forgot that they added before, by the way. So I could do Twitter, I could do StatusNet, Hello Text, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So once you're done, all you do is you go all done, and then it'll automatically start sending it out. And you can go to the dashboard. If you want to create your own feed, by the way, because I showed you how to do it after you have it, but if you want to do it, create a new feed, what you do is you go up to the top right hand corner, go create new feed, and let's go to this amazing social networking schmoozer website. And I'm going to go here to the RSS feed here. I'm going to click the RSS. This actually takes me to a Google Reader, which is where I have all my RSS feeds. And I'm going to move the screen for a second. So you can see here at the top left hand corner, I have feeds.feedburner.com forward slash Twitter goal, which is the original name of my site. Moving this down here, it's in the URL bar. Now if I want, I could add this URL, I could add the Google Reader if I wanted to, just if I want to go back to it. However, since I already have it, I'm going to just exit out of it for right now because I don't need it. But I'm just letting you know, I, I keep a lot of those in my... Google Reader. It's a good place to store all the RSS feeds. And then I go copy and paste and I, go, I can test the RSS feed again and I could add a name to it if I want. Well I have to add a name to it. And then I can go back into the advanced settings. Same thing as we were at before. It's that simple. All it is is just copy and paste. So again this is how to actually add one. Now on the reverse side I have had to delete a few feeds now, especially if you're doing affiliate marketing. Um, when I was I was mentioning earlier that Amazon got rid of all of the affiliates for Illinois. Well, I think they got rid of a few other states as well, but I'm in Illinois, and that's where I got hit by this. When they got rid of it, I had a lot of Amazon affiliate feeds through Twitter feed, which I got rid of. So once I got rid of those accounts. I just went in and I started deleting it. I'm going to see if I have an account that I don't really use anymore. So if you want to delete, I'm going to go into cool feed because this obviously isn't doing anything here. So I'm in cool feed and I go delete feed and I go OK. And it's deleted. And I have one less feed here. You can see I had 14 before, now I have 13. And that's easy. So Definitely take a look at Twitter feed. Like I said, make sure it's not your only tool that you use for Twitter, but use it for some of your additional tw your additional Twitter accounts, and that way you could build up a little bit of additional traffic to your site. You're not going to get tons of clicks here, as you could see, like this from Great Deals feed. I get three clicks on one, twelve clicks on another. It's not going to be a high traffic driver. However, it'll drive in a few hits here and there, and that's what really counts. I'll generally get about fifty to a hundred hits just from Twitter feed every month just to my blog and that's not including all the affiliate accounts that I have so definitely take a look at using that as a tool to help build some traffic and to help get your uh, Twitter account automated a little bit so you don't have to do all the work yourself this is Andy from AndyNathan.net talk to you soon